here and welcome to my Monday Night Crypto Kickoff. Um, as those of you who subscribe to my channel and uh, who know it's quite new, um, just to let you guys know, I'm going to try and do three videos a week from now on. Um, I'm going to do a Monday Night Kickoff that does a sort of post-weekend review um, and sort of sets us up for the rest of the, the, rest of the week. Um, I'm going to do a sort of midweek review on Wednesday and then a Friday night recap where I will be looking at what's happened during the week um, and also on every Friday night I'd like to kind of like pick a coin, uh, one specific coin um, that um, has definitely piqued my interest during that week. Um, then I'd like to go into a bit more depth with you guys and explain to you guys why, uh, why I think it's a good coin. Um, just as we start off though, just a little disclaimer, um, just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not official financial advice, it's simply my opinion. So do not invest more that than you can afford to lose. Right, so now that we've got that out of the way, um, let's look at what's been happening over the weekend and uh, during Monday. So um, for those of you who watched my video on Friday night, the, uh, the last Friday recap, um, you guys will know that we ended that off in a high. I think the market cap on Friday was something like $176 billion. Um, at that point with BTC dominance still sitting at about 47%. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not uh, the same story tonight. It's uh, $150 billion is the current market cap with BTC dominance still at about 47.4%. Um, but we're down probably, I'd say about 25 to 27 uh, billion dollars on market cap over over the weekend. Um, and that's really for sort of two reasons. Uh, Bitcoin was an all time high on Friday night at $4,810. Um, and usually when Bitcoin has been on a steady rise, uh, like it has been for the last couple of weeks, um, there is always a period of correction and this is normal and I sort of expected after we hit those highs of last week that we would see a, a pullback from Bitcoin and most of the currencies um, to a certain extent um, and then at some uh, and then that little rise would continue so I'm still pretty convinced that you know that's still the case with Bitcoin um, I think that it's just been a correction for the case of Bitcoin um, and that Bitcoin's, um, you know, continued rise will continue. Um, but one of the other reasons that we've had this sea of red and what has been described an absolute bloodbath at the moment is because of the news that came out today about China outlawing ICOs um, in China, obviously. Um, so where, where this is basically, actually, I think this has kind of been, to be expected. Um, during last week, we saw that uh, Chinese officials had been interrupting uh, certain conferences um, that were held in China, um, sort of ICO uh, um, events and things like that that were being held in China. Those things were being uh, interrupted by um, Chinese government officials. Um, and there was some sense of uncertainty, but I think everyone saw that this was coming down the road. Um, I wasn't quite expecting that the Chinese would completely outlaw ICOs. I was expecting that they would put some sort of stringent regulations about it. So I think this is this is a step further than um, than even I thought that they would go. Um, so as you guys can see, most of the uh, state-controlled institutions um, from China have actually come out and um, had done an outright ban on um, ICOs. And this is why it has affected the price of things like Ethereum and especially NEO quite significantly. Um, so, as you guys know, most ICOs are actually launched on the Ethereum platform. They use that platform, that blockchain, um, to launch their ICOs. And in China, uh, specifically NEO, because NEO is quite a China uh, specific um, or a China centric. Uh, blockchain and platform so you know there's a lot of conspiracy theorists that think that the uh, the neo blockchain is um, somehow Chinese state controlled I'm still a little bit unsure about that um, I mean we've seen massive drops in neo today but the big drop in things like ethereum and neo and you know the majority of the market is because of 
that uh, this ruling that's come out of China about ICOs being outlawed. Um, and I think a lot of people find this difficult to believe. They can't believe or they can't understand exactly why China is doing this. They think that this is some sort of um, government power grab um, of ICOs um, trying to put not just outlaw, but maybe try and, you know, take it for their own advantages. I think I think there's two ways to read in this. You know, that could be one reason. I honestly think that there's a different reason for this. Um, um, for anyone who knows China quite intimately, or who, who knows that part of the world quite well, um, they'll know that, um, you know, gambling is quite rife in China and that um, um, the Chinese people have a different relationship to, to gambling um, than I think a lot of sort of Western countries do. So I think what the Chinese government is trying to do with, um, with outlawing the ICOs, um, or at least for the time being, is to try and stop the, the sort of average Chinese citizen um, being taken for a ride or being duped by false ICOs, because let's be honest, there are quite a lot of scams out there. Um, it's been stopping the, the average Chinese uh, person being duped by um, sort of bogus ICOs. Um, and, you know, I sort of called quite a few of these out. Um, a couple of months ago, I posted something on... Um, uh, I had a post on um, on Steemit about the ICO Viber being a complete scam. Um, that actually did turn out to be a scam and quite a lot of people lost money. So it, 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 there are things like that. But there's also, if you actually have a look in the last year, the amount of ICOs um, and the amount of money that ICOs has raised um, over the last year, it, it's massively skyrocketed. I mean, the chart's literally gone up massively. I can't, I can't even... Um, I should have actually had the chart up today um, here for you guys to have a look at. But you can Google it. Just have a look at the, the, the cash that ICOs raised. Just Google, like, um, you know, cash raised by ICOs 2017. And it'll give you this graph. Um, and it's just exploded um, in 2017. So I think this is this is really just the Chinese government's way of protecting its citizens um, and ensuring that uh, they don't get duped. Um, you know, there might be some other more dubious reasons than that. Um, I'm sure other people have an opinion. Um, but that's what I'm currently thinking at the moment. And um, that is what has been partly responsible for the, um, for the bloodbath in, in the market. Now, I, as I said earlier, I do think some of this is, is definitely a correction. I think what's happened in, block, uh, sorry, in Bitcoin and a lot of other coins has been a correction because it's been in a steady climb for at least, what, the last two, three weeks probably. Um, and as we all know, you, you know, what goes up must come down at some point. So I think the, the correction in the market has just been exacerbated by, by the news from, um, from China. But there's a couple of things like, for instance, we can look at, you know, NEO's down 18%. Um, H share is down 52.4%. I think it's the biggest loser of the lot. But basically everything across the board is down, 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 down. Now, I think this is, um, you know, a lot of people see the sea of red and go, oh my God, what is happening? Um, you know, it's all going to pot. But you guys have to remember, this is cryptocurrency. We are still in the Wild West. It is the early days of this, uh, of this market, of this crypto space. And double digit falls, I mean, 20, 30, 40, 50% falls and rises. Um, are the order of the day at this time, uh, at this stage. So I don't think anyone should be too surprised about the massive rises and the massive falls we've seen. I mean, I think Bitcoin is up something stupid like year on year. It's something like, you know, thousand percent or year on year. It's just absolutely stupid um, how much Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think Ethereum climbed almost a hundred percent in the last three weeks. So, um, so that just gives you an idea of the amount of rises and falls we've seen. But if you, um, I think, I think when the markets are like this, it's a perfect time to to pick up, um, to pick up some really really good coins. Um, Ubic for me, I've I've held Ubic for ages, and Ubic overall has done really really good for me. And um, and I think when the price is this low, like two two dollars twenty two, load up on that Ubic um, because. Uh, it's a solid coin. It's worked really well for me. 
Um, I've bought Ubic low a few times, sold high. Um, and like right now again, I'll, I'll buy some Ubic and I'll stock up on that because that is, that is due to rise, um, you know, at least another 10, 15% in the next couple of weeks even um and that that is probably conservative uh outlooks on that um again i don't know what's going to happen with gas and things like neo given the current uh chinese decision so i'll probably hold off on those for a while um um so i probably will just kind of wait and see with them but other than that i think um well look at rise i mean rise is the one thing that's you know, everything else today has taken an absolute punishment, but Rise has just, it's gone up like 32% in one of the darkest days in, in recent history on uh, in the crypto space. So I think um, definitely worth having a look at that. I think a couple of other coins that are a steal at the moment is, um, is wow, look at this, uh, um, is Civic. Now, I looked at Civic not long ago, probably about... 15 20 minutes ago and it was about 29 cents um and it's now gone up to 39 cents uh, for civic i still think civic is an absolute steal at this price and i will definitely be stocking up on some civic at this point i think 39 cents 40 cents i think you could see 10 times that by um by december um, for you guys who are not familiar with Civic, Civic uh, is a um, verification uh, blockchain. It's set up by um, Vinnie Langham, who is a South African in investor. Um, he's um, kind of the he's like this South African Shark Tank uh, guy. Um, but yeah, so he set this up. It's um, it's quite. I mean, they've got a really good product. They have got real. Uh, real world use cases um, they are being adopted by more and more uh, platforms and products um, and companies out there so I think Civic is really really pla uh, uh, solid and if you can buy Civic for for 39 cents you know get in there I, I remember when Civic came out the day it got launched I bought Civic for 16 cents uh, bought a whole bunch I sold some Civic at um i think it was like 56 or 59 cents can't remember sold some civic to put some money into some other bitcoin um and i think i'm going to stock up in some civic again today because just look at that chart you just know that that's going to go up again um civic for me is a real strong one uh pivx as well i think you know pivx gone down a bit 329 um i'm definitely staking pivx um you know, I'm interested in the master node for Pivx. I think uh, Pivx has got a really, really good blockchain. Um, and there are a couple of other coins doing some stuff around Civic Tune In for Friday. Uh, Friday show, I'm going to I'm gonna talk around a uh, another coin which is um, shifting over to the, uh, to the Pivx blockchain, um, which I'm kind of heavily invested in at the moment. And I think... Um, I think there's some really good stuff that's going to come out that, but that uh, from that coin. But Pivx, really, uh, guys, look out for that. I still think Pivx is a really, really good buy. Um, right, so I think that's kind of my, my wrap-up of the, the top 100. Um, just before I go, Litecoin uh, has also had a massive correction. $68.86 at the moment. Now... Friday night, Litecoin was ninety dollars. Uh, it was over ninety dollars, I think, on Friday night. So, um, yeah, Litecoin still a solid investment. I'm I'm heavily into Litecoin at the moment. I'm definitely saving up my Litecoins. I think um, you know if you guys can remember the days where Bitcoin was two hundred dollars. I think it's the same thing with Litecoin. I think we can one day see Litecoin at $800,000 of Litecoin. So um, it all depends on what your strategy is, but uh, I'm definitely into Litecoin at the moment. Um, it's still a good one for me. You know, they're solid. They're number five on, on the all-time market cap, $3.6 billion uh, market cap. Um, and, you know, actually, if you look at the, the three big coins out there, the, the coins that you can use on almost any other platform, it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Um, anywhere where I've been able, a, a platform platform where I can buy cryptocurrency or buy products or do stuff with it, 
it's those three it's bitcoin ethereum or litecoin now sure you know there'll probably be more coins but these in my opinion are the three big ones so um so yeah i still think litecoin is is totally solid um now as you guys know i've heavily been invested in embercoin still am um embercoin is uh still a solid one for me um for those of you who also tuned into friday night's video we talked about this this um, this massive up and then the massive drop. So there were a lot of uh, I think there were a lot of people pumping the coin and then dumping it, obviously. Um, but um, but I thought that that was a very sort of uh, temporary thing. Um, I spoke on Friday night about something that I compared it to, which was the uh, the Gartner hypercycle which is um, something that Gartner uses to basically explain uh, the the, the peaks and troughs of, of, of um, public or, or interest in certain technologies. So when stuff like AI or blockchain or something like that comes out, there's, you know, this massive upsurge in, in um, uh, sort of interest and, uh, as I say, uh, infl inflated expectations right at the top. Um, and then it sort of tapers down again. Then there's this sort of, you know, the disillusionment in terms of, well, it hasn't quite... Um, it hasn't quite lived up to its expectations um, and and you sort of get this massive slump again um, right down to the bottom and then and then it sort of starts creeping up again when people have sort of you've gone to the all-time high and then you've gone to the all-time low and then you know people actually start to think about what's possible and what's realistic and it starts to start building out again which is this slope of enlightenment and into the, the plateau of productivity and, and I sort of said on Friday um, and you know that was only about three days ago. That that that's where I think where this coin um, is going. Um, now, uh, you know, I think having a look at this chart, uh, it looks remarkably similar to this one. Um, worryingly so, actually. Um, as I said, I think you know this is where it was pretty stable. People were picking it up. Um, folks like myself and Thomas G and uh, Vincent Flores and so forth, people started making videos about it, um, about the, the crazy staking uh, rate that this coin had. Um, interest peaked massively up till here. People bought high, bought high, bought high, and then when people started selling and the price plummeted, um, you know, people started running scared and they didn't know what the fuck was going on. But I think once it all settled down um, and all the pumping and dumping was finished, it started its, its steady ascent again. And I think this is exactly where we are at the moment. There's this sort of slow and steady ascent from its sort of low of like, I think it was three Satoshis again after it reached uh, sort of an all time high of like 15 Satoshis on, um, yeah, I think this was on Saturday or something. I can't remember, but um, Friday or Saturday. And then it sort of sloped on all the way down to three, and now it's on a sort of steady up again at seven. I sold, I sold some today at eight, actually on 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 Yobit, which was great. Um, but you know, I think realistically, I've always said a good price for this coin is probably like ten satoshis, um, ten twelve max. Uh, I could be wrong. It could go much much higher than that. Um, and I'd be really happy to if it does, because I hold many, many millions of this coin. But I still think that um, but that's kind of a realistic uh, price for it, kind of getting this line, you know, in keeping with this whole sort of uh, hyper cycle thing where there was 15 and this was three, that's probably a good sort of 10. And, and I think that's kind of realistic. So, um, so Ember coin still, still working very well for me. Um, and, um, and as I said, the devs very active on the platform, a lot of some stuff going on there. I'm still very happy with, um, with my investment in Ember coin and my staking in Ember coin. Um, as I said earlier, I've got, um, I've got, I'm looking at a few other coins. I'm investing in a few other coins at the moment. Um, I'm seeing what they're doing. Uh, I'm going to go a bit. Uh, into a bit more detail on Friday night about those coins um, in my end of week wrap up um, because I think that's a good time I'm testing some of the I'm testing some of the water with that um, but I think it will be a good time for me just to give you guys a, a sort of intro into some of those coins uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about the um, 
what's happening in their roadmaps, what's going to come up in the next sort of couple of weeks, couple of months, um, which is why I think, uh, or at least for me, which is why I'm getting into them. Um, but it will it will allow you guys to kind of make up your own minds about why or you know if or why you should sort of um, be looking at, at those coins at this point in time. Um, anyways, guys, that is my Monday night kickoff of the week. Monday night crypto crypto kickoff. Um, as always, if you like this video, please like it uh, down in the description. Um, I am probably on Wednesday night going to do an update on BitPetit and BitConnect. Uh, as you guys know, I'm invested in those two platforms in uh, at the moment. So I'll do an update on that on Wednesday night. Um, if you like this video and if you like others like it, please subscribe to my channel. You will get three videos a week and every now and then I throw the odd bonus in there as well. Um, so yeah guys, thanks very much for tuning in tonight and I'll see you next time.